Terms and conditions, whatever. No, that's wrong. Hello, and thank you for calling. This number is regulated by the government, and this call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Yes, hi, I'd like Hello. to- Hello. Thank you for your patience. How can I help you? Yes, hi. I, I took your soulmate test a few hours ago, and I'm afraid my results are wrong. You mean there's an error? No, I mean they're wrong. There must be some mistake. No, this person is the worst. They used to torment me in high school. What was your match rate? 127%. 127%? Yes. Congratulations! We have never been so proud. No one has had a match rate over 100% and you are our first. We hope you and your soulmate enjoy the rest of your lives together. The rest of our lives together? What do you mean? And I'm sure you read the terms and conditions? Well, no. Article 5, Section 3, Clause 1 states that these results are final and participant must remain with soulmate until time of their death under penalty of law. and conditions. These results are final and participant must remain with soulmate until the time of their death under penalty of law. <sighs> Got your phone call. Clearly. Should we start planning the wedding or what? Are you serious? Well, the results? I don't see how they can be accurate. Well, no, but the claws? Stupid claws. What if they're right? Excuse me? The results. What if they're right? I don't see how they could be. I mean, clearly you forgot in high school. Maybe things have changed. I've changed. Are you saying that you're in love with me? No, but maybe things may be different. <coughs> you know, you don't have to be so dramatic.
Don't tell me you actually felt something. No, I didn't. <sighs> There's gotta be some way we can get out of this. There isn't. You read the contract. The results are final under penalty of law. Penalty of law? What does that even mean? They think I'm scared of a little fine or something? You don't know? Those who don't actively marry their soulmate get thrown into the pit. Well, that's no good. Seems warm. I was reading that. It's the title page. Will you please focus? I don't even know what I'm looking for. Just read. There's gotta be a loophole somewhere. Every contract has a loophole. Seems pretty ironclad, honestly. I mean, the government wouldn't be so lazy as to slack in the contract writing department. I mean, look at the Constitution. Yeah, well, President Ford pardoned Nixon over Watergate because the Constitution didn't say he couldn't. Ha <laughs> ha I might have something here. What does it say? While our system is tested to produce accurate results, couples with 100% match rate or above may appeal results if and when proven to be mismatched. What was your match rate? 123%. You got this? I think so. Let's practice. What's my favorite color? Blue. No! Blue actually is my favorite color. Say anything but blue. Now, what's my favorite food? Chili. Ah! We literally had chili last night. We're working on the contracts, and you literally heard me say that chili is my favorite food. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hard to pretend not to know someone after spending the last three weeks with them. Yeah, we'll try harder. Now, what do I do for a living? <laughs> That's easy. Sales, I mean you're a chef. Good. Yeah. Oscar and Josephine. Well, now let's begin, shall we? When and where did you uh, first meet? I believe it was at the opera. Could you describe the uh, first meeting for me? Oh, God, it was pouring down rain. He knows I hate the rain. She loves the rain. April's her favorite month. What holidays do you uh, celebrate together? Hanukkah. She's Jewish. Hanukkah? He's Jewish. I have six snakes, 12 chameleons, and eight monkeys. Oh, well, he loves a nice slice of grapefruit with some granola. I'm allergic to granola and grapefruit, so I try to steer clear of those when she's eating. Well, I realized uh, when I loved him, when I saw him trip down the stairs and he said, ow, that hurts, but I love you anyway. She likes to wear a jumpsuit to bed. It confuses me, but she does it anyway, so I don't say anything because it makes her happy. Um, my, well, he sleeps in the nude. It's been three hours. Is he honestly having a hard time deciding this? Maybe they know we were faking. <sighs> but I was good, too. I took acting classes in high school. I know. I was in that class with Theo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember when Theo did that scene from Death of a Salesman and he peed, peed his, his pants? pants. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar and Josephine. After discussing your results, we've concluded that, uh, according to the uh, statutes of the U.S. government, in regard to soulmate testing, uh, we find you are uh, mismatched. <laughs> uh, that's very good news. Uh, yes, well, uh, uh, both of your accounts will be erased from the website database, and you'll be free to 
try again. Uh, uh, thank you for your time. I can't believe that <laughs> word. I know. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like you said, it's kind of hard to pretend not to know someone when you've been spending time with them. Um, I guess this is it. I guess so. Well, good luck. You too. Sorry, results not found. Hey. Hey. How are you? It's been a while. It has. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing okay. How did um, your second test go? Results not found. <laughs> oh. You? Well, it's funny you should ask. I, yeah, uh... you are always running off. Um... Hi, you must be... Uh, I'm Oscar. This is uh, Heather. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, nice <laughs> to meet you. Well, Oscar, we better get going. All right, I <laughs> guess I'll see you around. Yeah, you too. Why wouldn't you let me say that I was your sister? Well, I thought that was assumed. <sighs> well, she is cute. You should go out with her. Maybe. Look, just because the test says results not found, that, that doesn't mean anything. Lots of people don't use that test anymore. They said it's bogus. Like, they go out, they meet people face to face. You should try it. We'll see. Josephine! 